Hey, hey, Arcaders, it's UberNerd527 here, and welcome to a very special episode of the Pokemon Rewind podcast. And this is a very special... I know usually... I know... I'm going to review a Pokemon game. Now, I know usually that we go through the Pokemon anime episode by episode, but I thought that this would be a great opportunity to actually go and uh, talk about a Pokemon game. And I might do this more often as Pokemon games come out. I might review them and see how I think and how I liked it and how I didn't like it. So uh, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to give to try to experiment a little bit, try to, try to see if this would work. So I decided, however, though, that I need, did not need to do this alone. So I got my friends uh, together, and we decided to go ahead and do this review together. So we're going to be reviewing Pokémon. Now, in case you didn't know who these knuckleheads are, I'm going to introduce you. Uh, first, we have Azrael. Hello, Azrael. Hey, how you guys doing? And we also have the Winston. Yeah, we are the bugs. Yay! When did you let him? Um, oh, when did you let him out of the box? I didn't. Oh, um, okay. Well, anyways, so uh, maybe we should get a Pokeball next time. Put it in the Pokeball. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, so yes, this is kind of a gamesters reunion. Uh, now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you get a special treat because you're gonna watch me treat. and the Winston fight in Pokémon. So you're going to watch a couple matches as we kind of talk about this game. Oh yeah. And talk about how it goes. All yes. right. Go. So we're going to start this battle right now. And as we're doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. Now, when I first heard about this game, uh, the little kid in me got really, really happy. We got, I got super happy because you have a little kid that, yeah, I have a little kid inside my brain. The little kid inside my brain was very, very excited. So anyways, I got really excited to play this game. I got really excited to fight these characters. And uh, I, I just got super excited. And then uh, Pokemon World Championship happened in September. I was able to stream the, uh, the championship and they had a preview for Pokemon Tournament and it got me even more excited. So I really had to play this game and I really got uh, very, very uh, just psyched and, and uh, the, the hype was real. The hype was real, gentlemen. The hype was real. No, the oh, hype wait, yes. no one was real. No. I don't know. And uh, so I really wanted to uh, make sure that uh, I wanted to review this very, very well. I was glad that, that it, w it was made by the guys who created Tekken. And I, I just thought it was in good hands. And um, I, to playing the game, my first uh, just is, is so happy to see this. So let's talk a little bit about our first impressions of this game. So we played the game for what, two, three hours? Uh, and we got used to it. Uh, we played all the characters. Um, and uh, so, what were your initial thoughts um, of the game, the Winston? Uh, well, I um, was never crazy about Pokemon at all. So, um, well, that's another reason I chose you guys is because you don't have any kind of uh, you don't have any kind of connection to Pokemon. And I felt that you would give me, you guys would give me a. Uh, uh, kind of a, uh, uh, a, uh, honest, uh, opinion. honest opinion. So instead of just me just using my nostalgia glasses, um, I would actually have an honest opinion of what, uh, what, what I thought was that this game would be really good, right? Mm -hmm. Um, or not, because, you know, obviously it has Pokemon, I'm automatically gonna like it. So, uh, not, not true, not every Pokemon game, just because that's Pokemon does not mean it's good. Let's not talk about Pokemon Ranger, okay? So, as we're waiting for the Winston to pick a support group here, oh, 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 <laughs> so that one, what was what was what was your favorite uh, what was your favorite uh, part about coming into this game for the first time? You, I, I told you, I'm sure I told you many many times about this game <laughs> and about how excited I was. Uh, what did you think about it? I thought that they, uh, well, I thought it was very strange to have little animals fighting against each other. Um, usually not big Pokemon fans, but I thought, of course, uh, once the game got started, though, I was like, well, you know what, this might be actually interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. And, uh, so, when we got started, we went through everything, we fought each other, we went through the tutorial mode first to kind of see how to play the game. 
Um, and my first initial thought was, man, this game's complicated. That was my first initial thought. Was, wow, this game's complicated. But after we started actually started playing this game, I, I think we just kind of finally understood what, what it's all about and uh, how fun this game actually was. Um, and how badly I'm getting beaten <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh no, I'm out! Ah! So, anyways, but Pokemon has been a lot of fun. Uh, we've been uh -huh. sitting here playing it most of the afternoon. Um, so let's start off with a few questions that I came up with um, for, for Pokemon. First, what do you think about the look of Pokemon? Is it, is it, does it look good? Uh, first of all, does it look good? It looks amazing from what I can see. Ouch! I'm back, uh, ow! Woo! Yeah, yeah I did. So you liked it, you thought the look was pretty good, you thought yeah, it was... It looks, it looks amazing. Uh, in fact, I think it's probably the most amazing Pokemon game that, uh, that came out with. Okay, even though you've only played maybe two. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you have to guess. <laughs> Are you kidding? He only played one. No. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well, no, we played X and Y. We got X and Y. Okay. I tried to get you guys into X and Y, but you never did to finish it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very fun. And, uh, it, it's also, uh, one of the other things, I, I love the art style. I love how it looks. What about you? What about you, Azrael? I think, I think you have a good idea about that art style. It's pretty nice looking. You know, it's all running pretty smooth and doesn't seem to have very many slowdowns. And it's all connecting to each other pretty dang well, I would say. Yeah, I would yeah. say that. Now, a lot of people complain about playing on the, the, uh, the, the screen tablet. I kind of enjoy playing on the screen tablet, to you the truth. Well, it's more focused right in front of you. Right. You don't have to try and focus on the whole screen. So it makes it easy for you to pay attention to your opponents and what they're doing. Right. Compared to the big screen. Now, I also uh, I know that we did not try this because we don't we don't have the copy of the game, but um, you uh, you can also play all over land, which means you can actually play with two uh, Wii U's connected to each other, which is actually kind of funny because that's how Pokemon started in the first place is connecting oh, two Game Boys with a link cable. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, I, I, I think that's probably, um, uh, probably the coolest thing about it. And then, of course, you can play online. Now, I play online. Let me tell you, I, you, I will give you guys some, some, uh, some already tips, some pro tips already. If you have not played it, if you're a newbie to this game, don't, don't, don't play this game online. Get used to it first. Oh, and then play it online, and you're gonna get your butt whooped. Now, I will have to say though, uh, as opposed to a lot of fighting games with very complicated button mat button placements and combos, this is actually a fairly simple uh, control scheme, especially um, especially compared to like games like Super Smash Brothers and Street Fighter. Um, I would, I thought it was really weird that uh, I had to. Uh, you know, not use the control stick, but actually, after actually playing it, I found out that uh, it works very well. Um, you don't necessarily control the Pokemon, you just control what direction they go into. Um, so that's kind of interesting, um, indeed. Uh, what about you, Winston? What did you think about the control scheme? Um... Uh, I'm still trying to get a hold of it, as you can uh, obviously tell. If you're oh, watching online. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and I, well, I do like how they actually switch between two different. Two different. Two different uh, phases. Yeah. So you got the 3D and you got the 2D. Yes. Oof. Brutal, very brutal. I like it. So, uh, so you got the you got the 2D, you got the 3D. Um, I think I like the 3D a little bit better than the 2D. Yeah. Um, 
But still, it's it's still kind of a fun no matter which which one you play in. And you have to kind of get used to each Pokemon and how they fight and how they because each Pokemon is a different style. Like for instance, I'm using Weavile right now. Weavile's more close combat Pokemon, whereas Suicune, which is what the Winston is using, is uh is more of a long range with a few short range attacks. Um, so you have to learn how to how to, how to get both. And then of course we have the fighting triangle, which is kind of not really unique to this to this fighting game. Um, many many fighting games actually have triangles like this, um, where you know grapples beat grapples beat punches, punches beat grapple, you know counters beat you know whatever. So it's kind of a and the game the game set it uh, itself. It's kind of a uh, rock paper scissors if you know. Uh, of uh, countering, grappling, and whatnot. Now, I heard a couple of complaints about the game, and um, so I want to talk a little bit about what we thought about the game, what, what, what we didn't like about the game. A um, few things I didn't like about the game is I think this roster is a little too small um, for a fighting game. I mean, how many Pokemon again are there out there? 725. 725, holy macros! Yeah. A so, I mean, do you think do you think that it's kind of small for a fighting game? Yeah, you expect them to have big new ones that you can unlock when you go, but it doesn't seem like they have very much on that yeah. launch. Yeah, really, there's only two that you can unlock, and I, I won't I won't spoil it for those of you who want to keep spoiler free. Uh, there's only two people you can unlock, and uh, really, you the only way you unlock it is just playing through the story mode. I mean, that's generally it. Um, so, you know, I, I wish there was more, I'm, I'm, I'm making a prediction that, uh, that they'll actually announce, um, they'll actually announce DLC for this game, maybe some DLC fighters. Um, I don't, I don't think that it's, it's beyond, um, thinking that they wouldn't do it, especially since they, they've been having, Nintendo's been having so much success with, with uh, uh, Splatoon and and uh, even Hyrule Warriors, you know how much how much uh, DLC do Hyrule Warriors have? You know, um, I, uh, I I really I, I I really think that Nintendo is really in 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 all this whole DLC thing. So I'm not I wouldn't be surprised. Especially since fighting games in Japan tend to come out first and then kind of see how they need to balance everything and then they kind of add more characters as they go. Yeah. So, probably is that, you know. What about you, the Winston? Did you think that this did you think that the roster was a little too small? I mean, you know, for seven hundred Pokemon that there is out there, I think that it is a bit small. And I kind of thought that because you could get like a certain amount of life per Pokemon, I would have thought that they would have used uh, for each round you would be able to change different Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. Not just for after every single. Uh, Not just every single time. You yeah. just use the same Pokemon, you can trade out if you want to. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, just like in the actual game. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, the best guy we got around here. <laughs> so, so, generally though, I don't like to give games a grade, because I'm not a review, work. this is not a review uh, website, I don't do reviews that much, but if what would you would you keep playing this? If you uh, would you go buy this on your own? You yeah, might, you might. It depends if they release new content or not. Okay. Um, would you play it even though you're not a Pokemon fan? Yeah, probably. This game. If we're looking to just run some time and have some fun, you might. Aha! <laughs> The great Samurai wins this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would you recommend this to anyone who's not a Pokemon fan? 
Maybe I'm would, just a fighting game fan? It, yeah, I would recommend it. I would recommend it. It's, uh, it's a very interesting way of fighting and stuff. Okay. And we've only played, like, uh, certain uh, fighting games, which only dealt with one or the other. From uh, Soul Calibur 2 to all the way back to the Mortal Kombat series. Mm -hmm. And Smash Brothers. And Smash Brothers. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course, Smash. Um, I mean, who doesn't love Smash? I, I will have to say this this has a different vibe than Smash. Um, although I think that the control schemes are a little bit more simpler than Smash, if that makes any sense. Mm. Um, I also kind of like the fact that I really think that this game can really get anybody excited to play it. You know, anyone can kind of jump in and, and, and play it and not have to worry about, um, not have to worry about knowing too much, you know, about, you know, how to play it. You know, it is complicated when you first, when you go through the tutorial, you sit there and go, ah, I don't know. There's a lot of yeah. explaining and stuff. You're just sitting okay. there going, ah. And it makes it worse when you're just having to sit there and watch you while, while the monster takes, you know, takes you out of the controls and stuff. <laughs> so I think that the, the tutorial level, it does a good job of introducing everything, but I guess me, especially with video games, I'm more of a... I'm more of a, uh, I have to actually go and, uh, I have to actually go and start playing with it for a little bit before I, before I, um, before I, you know, actually get into a game. So I think that's my kind of thing. Um, but I don't, you know, I don't think that it's a very difficult game to actually get into or, uh, actually for anyone to, uh, uh you know, dislike if they don't, uh, you know, if they're not a big fighting game fan. I think that a lot of Pokemon fans may actually start playing this game a lot, um, because Pokemon fans, you know, anything, especially if you love Pokemon, you're gonna, you're gonna want to play this a lot, um, especially since, you know, we've been watching, for, for a long time, we've been watching these crazy, high-end battles in, in the anime, and now we actually get to play them out, you know, and I love it that in this game, type doesn't matter, you know, no. type has, it, it doesn't matter, you know, you can have a grass type beat a fire type, and you can have an electric type get stomped on by a water type, you know, it doesn't necessarily matter the type, um, which is actually quite interesting as well, I think. So, uh, that's another thing I, I enjoy greatly about this, uh, game, is that you don't have to worry about typing, you don't have to worry about, uh, stats necessarily. Now, I do like that you can actually level up your Pokémon. Um, you can actually level them up and actually, uh, make them stronger, um, by battling them online, by going through the story mode. You can actually make them stronger. Um, so, now, just a few things, I will give some tips for those of you wanting to try to play this game. Uh, first, you're gonna have to practice a little bit. Anyone can kind of get into the game, but you're gonna have to practice and find um, the character that's good for you. It is clear that obviously I'm still trying to find my character. <laughs> You'll find him, Winston. You were actually pretty good with, uh, Suiku in there for a little bit. Um, so, you have to, if you look on the bottom of the screen next to the character, that actually tells you what type of character they are, whether they're a power type, whether they're a technical type, whether they're a speed type, um, or what, they're a, what they call standard type, which is just a fancy way of saying that these are kind of the good all-around characters. Um, I would highly suggest starting off with Pikachu to get your bearings a little bit, and then once you've kind of mastered how to use Pikachu, then go on to other characters that are a little more complicated to use. Uh, and again, every character is different. Every character has its strengths, has its weaknesses, and you just have to figure out, uh, do we plan this? Um, I'm clearly not. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh yeah, the Magikarp Festival, here we go. Mm, fish. Fish. <laughs> All right. Eat. So, anyways. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us here for this Pokemon Rewind Pokemon game review. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, look, it's shiny. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're going to finish this fight with the two guard chomps here, and uh, we'll end it right here. So thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video, please continue to watch. Uh, please subscribe to us. Um, if you like this pod, if you're listening to this on iTunes, because we're going to put this on iTunes as well as YouTube. Uh, so unfortunately, those of you who are watching on iTunes can't see where, where we're fighting or how we're fighting. Uh, but if you're um, if you're on uh, YouTube, you can see us duking it out as uh, two guard chomps right now um, on a magic cart boat. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, crazy. Uh, so, uh, please let us know if you like this, if you like this review, if it, it was helpful. Uh, I know this was kind of quick and to the point, but that's kind of how I wanted this video to be, quick and to the point. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you, uh, enjoyed this video. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. If you are listening to this on YouTube, or iTunes, sorry, uh, make sure you subscribe to our podcast. And uh, look out for new episodes coming soon uh, as we go through the Orange Islands League. And look out for new content. Uh, we're part of the Arcade Archives Network, and we have all kinds of great videos and uh, reviews and silly videos. If you can go back and watch some of our old Doomster videos that, that would we did. be great. That would be great. Uh, so please check us out. Thank you again so much for joining us, folks. And uh, best wishes to all of you as I beat Winston severely as Garcho. Thank you for joining us for this Arcade Archives Network video. If you like this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave comments below. If you would like more, please go to thearcadearchives.com or zowiekerpowie.com. Thank you so much once again for joining us for this Arcade Archives Network video, and don't forget to keep playing like it's 1981. Message from Headquarters. This is a Rebellion production and is part of the Arcade Archives Network. That is all.